The K95 Platinum. I finally got my hands on one. I'm Rio Gion and welcome to Rio Gion Keyboards. I love the dark silver aluminum finish man, it makes it look so expensive and premium. The ISO layout makes it harder to find keycaps replacement, but I know Carcera released their own line of aftermarket keycaps so if you feel like switching into a higher quality keycaps then I'll leave a link to them down below that like button. I really feel like they should give you the higher quality keycaps to begin with because we're paying so much money for this keyboard. I dig the floating design and makes the keyboard much easier to clean than keyboards with the enclosed design. This keyboard has dedicated media controls with volume wheel, profile switcher, windows lock, making this one of the most complete plus size keyboard in the market. I like the six macro buttons on the side with different textures and color. It makes them really pop when you look at the keyboard. I know that some may miss the older K95 with 18 macro keys, but personally, I don't know how you would use those keys in intense gaming sessions. However, it would be really nice for video editing to have that many macro keys. I love that like bar on top of the keyboard with the illuminated Corsair logo. It gives this keyboard that little extra bit of flair. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, you gotta hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for the latest content. This keyboard uses authentic Cherry MX switches, which is a proven switch that's gonna last the full 50 mil. The light is placed inside the switch, so there's a protection for the LED lights when you press the keys. The switch uses a clear housing so that the light can shine through brightly, and I believe that the clear housing switches feel better than the black housing switches, or it could just be me typing on way, way too many keyboards, and I'm slowly going insane. I don't usually like linear switches because I often find them either too light or too mushy for my taste but this keyboard feels great. I know it's really odd because the switches should feel the same for every keyboard but it doesn't. I have the same switch on the Ducky 1 speed switches and that keyboard didn't feel as good as this one. Back then I didn't really care much for linear switches but after using them on the Corsair keyboards I can truly see why they're so popular in the community. This keyboard uses Cherry MX stabilizers which is very nice when you have to take out the longer keycaps to clean your keyboards or replace keycaps because you don't have to deal with those metal wires and those little plastic pieces that can be easily broken. The thing that you give up with Cherry MX stabilizers is the crispiness when pressing the longer keycaps, which I would mind giving up because I do completely clean my keyboard from time to time, so I don't want to deal with those Cold Star stabilizers. If you don't fully clean your keyboard or you don't clean your keyboard at all, then the Cold Star stabilizers are a good because it feels better to press than Cherry stabilizers, well at least from my humble experience experience. It was disappointing to see that this keyboard uses the same thin ABS keycaps as their lower tier products because I think you would expect something different for paying such a high price tag. The keycaps aren't bad, but the quality doesn't live up to the price that you're paying for. It feels good to the touch, so they have that going for them, which is nice. I think the next generation of this keyboard will have higher quality keycaps since they released their keycap set. At least, I would expect them to because we're paying such a high premium premium than a more popular offering such as the K70. It still have that gamer font which is a mixed bag because some of you really dig the look and others prefer a more professional font from the previous versions. The wrist rest game here is alright because you get to have flippable wrist rests but you still have those small little plastic hooks that can easily be broken. I believe they should make the wrist rest completely magnetic with the next generation and have it BRGB like the Viper keyboards if they are gonna stick with hard plastic or another route they can take is go with soft foam magnetic like a razor but it's just a matter of personal taste on which route they should take. I would say stop doing the little plastic hooks but then again I know people People that don't mind having the wrist rest like that which I honestly don't see why but they don't mind. The back of the keyboard have cable management slots but they're not for the keyboard and I don't even know if they're for the mouse since they place them in an X pattern. 
The only cable that would make sense would be the headset cable. The flip up feet does have rubber on them so the keyboard will be planted during heavy gaming and typing sessions at both angles. I know that they took away the other feet that are in the K70 perhaps. Just perhaps. People don't use them that much that's why they decided to take them out. Personally, I don't use them either but I can understand the appeal because you can lift the entire keyboard up instead of just an angle. There's a USB pass through which is very nice because I use it a lot and the cable is braided which I really like but I noticed that people stop caring for braided cable and in some situation they even go as far as taking off the braiding. The light bar really makes the keyboard pops and at night the look is fantastic. I really dig the lighting effects this keyboard offer and I know lighting is one of if not the main selling point of this keyboard. Let's face it, if you're going to be paying this much for the keyboard, you want to have as many features as you can. So the lighting here is done really really well. I can see why they decided to go with the more gamer font because the larger font helps the light shine better. The layout of the lighting effects is something that isn't found in most gaming keyboards so this is somewhat unique to have this is a great keyboard for party tricks and showing off to your friends the software is another selling point of the keyboard because it's really user friendly and you get constant updates to improve your user experience. I know that the company didn't start off strong with their software but they have come a long way to where they are today. The great thing about this software is the community that stands behind it. You can always find new custom lighting profiles and people regularly share their creativity with this keyboard and pretty much all of the RGB line of the mechanical keyboards from this company. I can see the appeal of buying gaming keyboards from big name manufacturers like Corsair, Razer, and Logitech because they have teams that are dedicated to getting different aspects of the keyboard right, such as the software. I have seen my fair share of RGB mechanical keyboards and the software tends to be the weaker aspect of those keyboards. I think the software team will continue to give us new updates and provide us with the best experience as they can. Going into the keyboard, I seriously thought that the typing experience would be the weakest aspect of the board because the linear switches aren't very well known to be good typers. I'm so glad I was wrong because I thoroughly enjoy typing on this keyboard. The interesting thing is that I use this switch on other keyboards and I don't type as good as this one. I seriously don't know why. It could be that I'm getting used to linear switches but I really enjoy typing on this keyboard and there are even times when I would be finding excuses to type on this keyboard, which is the highest price I can give for any keywords. The switches feel smooth with just enough weight when I feel that I made the keystrokes and the transitions are just buttery smooth. I really do feel like I'm flying through the keys with this keyboard and the stops that I do made aren't so vague that I can't tell whether I hit the keys or not. Overall, it's a spectacular typing experience. I would highly recommend this keyboard for the different types of gamers such as MMO, FPS, RTS. If you edit lots of videos then you should also put this keyboard on your shortlist because you can macro every single key and you get a bank of macro keys on the side. The linear switches are some of the best switches for gaming and this switch is no different. In fact, I think it would be better because it's faster than the reds. So is this the perfect keyboard? We have to talk about the price because this keyboard sits at the higher end of the pricing segment in the market. I know that price is always subject to change but you can expect to find this keyboard retail for 200 large which can break the bank for some of us. I'll put a link to the keyboard in the description below if you want to buy it. I would recommend constantly clicking on the links because I always see sales for this keyboard. There are times when I see this keyboard go for as low as 150 so keep an eye out and check the links often. Comment down below and let me know. After seeing this video would you buy the keyboard? If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet you gotta hit that subscribe button turn on notifications become part of the mighty notification squad as always have an awesome day